Hello everyone, it's Elder here. Uh, today I wanted to review this uh, military issue uh, duffel bag, or as we called it in the Marines, our uh, sea bag. Alright, uh, this thing is basically uh, served as our traveling suitcase. Alright, so you want to talk, uh, while I was in the Marine Corps, <clears throat> you want to talk about uh, durability. Uh, you're kind of looking at it, right? This one was actually issued to me in uh, Paris Island when I went to boot camp in the Marine Corps. Uh, it has been with me ever since. I have a few other ones, but for the purpose of this uh, demo or review, I wanted to go ahead and use the uh, the original one so you could see what kind of wear and tear it's gotten over the last few uh, decades and uh, still serviceable, uh, still good to go. So let me go ahead and go over a few of the specs here. We have a uh, carrying uh, handle or carrying strap here. Once again, uh, stitching, all military spec. Uh, so obviously the durability have a little pocket here right to stage any incidentals that you need uh, Once again, there's also uh, you can carry it as a backpack with these two back straps once again super high quality great stitching uh, Durability metals good to go uh, As you know by the age of uh, this actual sea bag as far as cinching it down Okay, we have this here in the front that I actually have it uh, secured right now but if we were to open it up, right, you could tell there's just a ton of room in there to just keep stuff and stuff. All right, since it is a bag, it'll form. Uh, so you could kind of just keep squeezing stuff in there. And as far as uh, securing it, okay, you have this little uh, loop here, okay, that we are going to uh, get the grommets and just seal them through. Once again, this isn't a waterproof bag, but it is water resistant. So you could use a waterproof bag inside of this one, which is uh, kind of what we used to do uh, with our Willie Peter bags. And uh, once again, start cinching this down. The fact that it isn't waterproof, even though it's heavy dis uh, duty uh, canvas, make sure that you uh, keep, uh, keep everything uh, pretty uh, unfolded, uh, so to speak. So as you're uh, doing this, make sure you take extra time to just uh, make sure that uh, everything is cinched in there and nice and straight. All right, because the more crevices that you're going to have in here, the easier the water is going to be able to get in there or snow or mud, so on and so forth. All right, and then you just go ahead and cinch that down and you're pretty uh, secured. To add a, uh, another feature, like we would have to, you would uh, take a lock, go ahead and put it on top here from this uh, loop, and uh, go ahead and secure that down. Uh, once again, we would use the uh, combination locks on here, which are a little thinner, but for the purpose of this review, uh, you get what I'm uh, trying to show here. Now, just like every other uh, piece of gear, uh, we need to decide, okay, is this worth it, or is this something that I would add to my go bag or uh, survival kit? Uh, once again, only you uh, can decide that depending on what your needs are. Uh, so different uh, applications that I would use this for, because this is about 2.2 pounds, I think is what, the, what it's listed at, as. Uh, keep in mind that I will put the detailed specs in the blog post. So if you do want that, uh, make sure you check out the blog. But as far as applications that I've used it for over the years, once again, even still for traveling and with the airports and with all this uh, crazy baggage fees and things like that, uh, the good thing about this is you can just stuff it once again, only weighs two pounds, so it's not going to contribute to your carry-on weight um, that uh, everybody's so uh, a stickler for these days as far as the airlines and TSA and so on and so forth. So the fact that you could just keep stuff in, uh, stuff in here, all right, so that it's easier to fit into these compartments is still a good choice. I mean, you see uh, military guys all the time at the airport with this and former military people because uh, they trusted it through the military. And uh, once again, for the other reasons that I gave you for travel-wise, as far as convenience, it's uh, definitely a valid choice still for, uh, for uh, traveling as opposed to a bulky suitcase or a carry-on bag. Okay, once again, this could easily be used as a bug out bag uh, itself or a survival kit, all right? Uh, you could carry it on your back. It's durable. It's uh, lightweight. All right, so just another purpose that you can utilize uh, uh, that for. Um, another thing would be for storage, all right? When we're out, uh, let's say even in a camping situation, I like to have these type of bags to store, uh, let's say, rope or extra tarps or uh i mean you name it uh, because then what happens is once you do get back into the field or once you do get into the field and let's say unload all the gear that you have in here that you're going to be utilizing uh for that particular camping trip or outing or trek or or whatever um you can go ahead and still have this for multi-purpose uh we will hang these uh in the field and use them for a weapon weapon application all right so sort of like a heavy bag so you can use it for striking i mean just think fill it up with ponchos fill it up with your poncho liner fill it up with clothes uh hang it from a tree and you're good to go to just uh practice your skills uh once again something that's very practical because you're going to have it with you in the field it's not something extra that you need to think about so for the purposes of natural training center since we do focus on combatives it's something that uh is uh is definitely uh valid or a valid reason 
uh, for me to, to definitely add this uh, to my gear, uh, which of course I do, but in case you were thinking about it. Um, the other thing that I like to utilize this for and have utilized this for is a bear bag. So we're out in the field, uh, the critters want to go ahead and attack our food and anything that smells uh, different, even toothpaste, deodorant, things like that. So at night to keep the critters away, even the cat, the raccoons and things like that that are just annoying, uh, we'll go ahead, put our uh, food and uh, smelly stuff in here, hang it from a tree and it's good to go uh, because it also is durable. All right, so it's not something that's rubber or plastic, then with one strike of those claws, uh, from anything, even just a raccoon, they're going to get to your gear, and now you lost your bag and you lost your food. And when I'm out in the field with our uh, natural training center members, we'll end up uh, using this uh, and filling it up with uh, sandbags, let's say, or anything like that, so that we could utilize it as a workout tool. So many people are spending extra money on uh, this gear that's designed for sandbags, where you can actually, okay, this is not the practical sandbag that I would put in there unless you have a bunch of these, but even just uh, sandbags that you would buy at the big box stores like Home Depot and Lowe's. You could throw a few of them in here, even for home purposes for working out, and you're good to go and probably saved yourself a hundred bucks on buying a, uh, a sandbag, let's say a canvas sandbag holder, uh, or uh, you know the, the outer shell uh, that so many people are selling out there, and they're good quality and everything like that, but now you can pick this thing up for multi-purposes that I just named, and then on top of it, still being able to, to uh, being a great tool uh, that you can use for your uh, physical fitness preparedness. So in finishing up this review, hopefully I give you uh, enough ideas uh, that you can utilize or see if this is something that you meant, uh, that is meant for you to add to your gear, uh, especially your personal gear. Uh, the price is uh, very inexpensive, uh, once again, for what you're getting and comparable to what's out there. And, uh, you know, once again, everything's listed in the blog post, so make sure you go and check it out. Uh, this has served me uh, well uh, for decades, and I'm sure if you decide to uh, invest in one of these, uh, it will serve you well also. Uh, once again, this is Helder. Hope you enjoyed this review.